I'm videotaping the cooking secrets. Okay. Should we introduce Irving? Sure. Yes. Irving. <laughs> Irvi yes. and I met on Craigslist. I posted an just, ad. Just get, get together. <laughs> I posted an ad on Craigslist. Mm -hmm. I was looking for a housemate, and she was also looking for a housemate. And she says, "Maybe I found your ad. You found my ad. Something like that." So I, yeah. yeah. Well, we reached out to each other, and then yeah. What is it? Five. So what? What? Later? What, yeah. what? What do you do for a living? It's not cooking. Uh, uh, I'm an emotional wealth manager. Emotional wealth. I help people with their, I guess you could say, happiness. So basic. So people experience some issues, and you help them to overcome the issues. Yes and no, not really. Um, I don't work on specific issues. Uh -huh. I help people understand that financial wealth is not the only thing that's going to make you survive. Okay. Uh, because we may live to a hundred years now, uh -huh. and so we have a longer life. And what actually Enjoy helps it. people survive is yes. enjoying it, but also having emotional wealth. Uh -huh. Your emotional wealth comes through people. Mm -hmm. So you have to have the right people around you in your life okay. and you've got to spend time cultivating those relationships, mm -hmm. okay. but you have to figure out what you want first. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like you can't just make friends with everybody. It's not about that. Exactly. It's so, about basi you have to so yes. basically you have to get rid of toxic people and uh, right. replace well, but them. Actually, with a lot of people don't even have people in their life. Even toxic there's, people. There's okay. even toxic, it may not be any, so they don't realize that yeah. they need to figure out who they are first because then they attract the right people into their lives. Is it new, to, uh, relatively new to the culture uh, of the country or I mean? No, I think it's just something people don't pen, spend time on. The mm -hmm. media talks about success all the time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's all about success and the new startup and, and especially because I live in that tech world, mm -hmm. but even just even in general mm -hmm. society, right? It's all about success and success, success. And it's like, but success doesn't happen overnight, one. And number two, a lot mm -hmm. of it happens if you have the right, and, and, and if you want to be fulfilled, not mm -hmm. necessarily happiness. For mm -hmm. some people, it's not about happiness. Mm -hmm. For some people, it's just, but you gotta figure out what it is that you really want. And but a lot of people don't spend the time to figure lots out. Of, lots of, really lots of people yeah. are wondering around, so what is that? I, uh, who, who am I? Who, who am what, I? What yes. do I need? What do I need? Who am I? But, How do but, I want to behave? I'm, I'm a blogger and lots of younger people ask yeah. me, Michael, how would I know? How would they know? Because you spend time with them, helping them understand themselves. Recently, so through, people, through conversation. Through conversation, through different... I mean, the tests are a very small part of it, mm -hmm. but it's more about... We all have conversations in our head. Mm -hmm. But we don't have those conversations with other people. So you have to have somebody who can... You, you have, have to find the people where you can talk to them about well, no, no, so not what, who, Well, what I do... So them. individually what I do is... I actually... I So friends are one thing, mm -hmm. but for me it's about being non-judgmental. Mm -hmm. I'm neutral. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm, I kind of say it sometimes, I'm the angel and the devil. Mm -hmm. I'm both. Mm -hmm. So whatever's going like on, else. right? No, 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 but but people don't have those Literally. conversations with mm -hmm. other people mm -hmm. when they think that they're doing something wrong according to society. They're not going to say that out loud, mm -hmm. but with me, they can. Mm -hmm. They can say, "But I'm thinking this way, and I'm thinking this way, and I'm thinking this way." And then our job is to figure out, based on who they are, what is the right decision for them. The social networks where people can. On one hand, they can easily find like-minded people all over the world, mm -hmm. which makes life easier. Right. On the other hand, it helps to substitute the reality with kind of virtual world where you do not communicate to people people, you mm -hmm. communicate to, God knows, virtual people. And, um, but people stop, but, but before you even get to who you should be connecting with, yes. people don't have the real conversations with themselves. Okay. People don't do that. They don't understand Pe because themselves. people think. But but if I make this decision, society says I should be this way. So they are right? being conditioned by society. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And what I do is help them forget about society, forget about everything for a minute, mm -hmm. and go just to them. Like okay. who are they? What do they want? What do they? Want? I mean, if they're going to live to a hundred. Is like, is it are, just uh, the way you you can do it? Is it just the one to one conversation, or you yeah. can be a preacher? You go to the podium and you can talk. I to actually the... don't like doing that. Okay. You're I actually don't honest. like preaching. Okay. Uh, I I like to work with people. But one -on -one. in terms of maybe 
uh, addressing people who are kind of uh, who don't know what to do, uh -huh. uh, how to start with, mm -hmm. what is the first step. Mm -hmm. uh, can can you talk? Can you talk to our audience on on YouTube? Um, yes and no. I mean, at, again, at the end of the day, it's very individual. Oh, sure, but um, as a vector, as a... The, I mean, part of the process is being honest with yourself. Yeah. And maybe even taking, you know, personality tests and things like that. And reading those tests, right? Reading the personality test, like the Myers-Briggs test. Uh, strength finders, okay. right? Because a lot of people don't know what they're good at. A lot of people don't know some weaknesses. A lot of people don't know all those different pieces, right? Okay. And so it's a matter of, figure, you know, read stuff to understand who you are. The, the, these tests are actually really good. I mean, it's just the, it's just the first... So these, uh, uh, let's say today's psychology gives lots of uh, tools uh, mm -hmm. to those who want right. to use them. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So start taking the tests and be honest about them. You know, if, if the easiest example I give somebody is, you know, we talk about success, okay? Well, let's take a corporate example. Somebody wants to be the chief financial officer of a Fortune 10 corporate company. Which is garbage. Well, I'm just saying as an example, right? Mm -hmm. Because yeah. to them, that's stability, uh -huh. it's money, mm -hmm. it's all that, right? That's a society. In, I'm just saying. In their perception. Right. Yeah. In their perception, let's mm -hmm. say somebody wanted to be a CFO of a Fortune 10 company. They're in their 30s. They're doing everything. And then they start taking, and, and they know this. But let's say I come in and I start seeing them take the test mm -hmm. and the tests say they're creative, mm -hmm. they're good at finance, mm -hmm. they hate doing it, okay. right? They, um, they actually love kind of finding solutions and, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're an artist mind even though they're not an artist, mm -hmm. right? Okay, well, if you want to be a CFO of a company, you have to be a finance person. Like, you have to live, breathe totally enjoy it. So that person is not going to spend their life mm -hmm. wanting to be a CFO when in reality they they would be happier mm -hmm. being somebody else. Um, right? Starting the kindergarten. And that's the example that I, I, I just want the simpler examples okay. because I think everyone can understand a CFO versus somebody who's not Definitely, a Definitely uh, lots of people do not live their own lives because no, society, society Im says. imposes things exactly. on them and they, they are pursuing somebody else's goals. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you ever heard about human design? Yes. Yes, because right now we are doing reading for ourselves mm -hmm. and discovering mm -hmm. a lot of very... I have quite a few friends who actually do that as what they do. So mm -hmm. a lot of what so a lot of what I do mm -hmm. is take people, especially people who are financially wealthy, mm -hmm. that are kind of emotionally poor mm -hmm. or broke, mm -hmm. I help those people. And the reason being is what you're talking about human design, right? Mm -hmm. If I feel like somebody needs somebody like that, mm -hmm. I can introduce them to that person. Mm -hmm. But I can also introduce them to somebody who could be their accountant. Mm -hmm. I can also introduce them to somebody who cooks, mm -hmm. right? And that could be a different part of their brain, mm -hmm. right? So my job is to first get them to the point where they're open mm -hmm. to truly understanding who they are mm -hmm. and then start introducing them to the right people. Now, it doesn't mean that these people have to be their best friend. It's not that. Mm -hmm. It's having a support system, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? And that support system will carry you through years and years and years whether you have the finances or not. Mm -hmm.